Just because the temperatures begin to drop and the seasons change doesn't keep me from entertaining outdoors. Now you may go, well, you're not gonna entertain during the winter outside, are you? Well, yes, I think that on those mild days when it's not too cold, it's the perfect opportunity to have friends over and enjoy nature at its best in the winter. But if you do this, there are a few things that you wanna keep in mind. It's not like entertaining in the summer. When it's cold outside, people want to be warm on the inside. There's no better way to do that than with a warm beverage or even soup. I like to put soup in these types of containers where they can just pour it into a cup. And of course, I have plenty of cocoa and coffee available to them. For instance, for tonight's party, I've created a rustic and warm environment with my fireplace and some decor that lends itself to the holidays. Now, if you don't have an outdoor fireplace, a fire pit or a chimenea will work equally well. Now, no matter what you do, you can't control Mother Nature. The wind's gonna blow no matter what. So I like to use table covers because they have corner seams. You see, this snug fit will keep you from worrying about pinning or clipping them. They're also machine washable. After all, the food's gonna spill just like the wind's gonna blow. Now, for some of the table decorations, I've kept it really simple, and again, in that rustic theme. I took some firewood and cut them at various heights to serve as pedestals for my centerpiece and accents. These, along with the fun holly luminaries, brighten everyone's spirit and blend right into the natural surroundings. And of course, if you're going to have an evening party, lighting is critical. Again, I wanted to keep it as natural as possible, so we used candles, lanterns, the fire from the fireplace, as well as Christmas lights in the shrubbery. I also have a few finger foods, like crostani with tapenade, as well as chips and dip. I find it's easier for people to nibble on instead of having lots of plates and flatware. Now for fun, I've created a little garnish bar for those who love hot chocolate. And finally, I've got everyone's favorite, s'mores. I think if your guests know there's going to be a fire, they're probably going to expect s'mores, don't you think? I don't know, maybe I'm just telling myself because I love them so much. So when the temperatures drop, never fear. There are lots of ideas you can use to enjoy that colder weather and create a memorable time with your friends and family.